Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Cheryl Reifer. I'm a registered dietitian and the Director of Scientific Affairs at Coral Club in North America. And today we're going to be talking about zinc methionine, uh, an exciting new chelated form of zinc that's known for its enhanced absorption in this format. And we're going to go through and tell you all about it, all about what zinc does in your body, what to look for if you might be deficient in zinc and uh, why this is so important to get it as part of your daily routine. And uh, so just about everything we can tell you about it in the 25 milligram dose that we're bringing it to you in. So zinc is very important for all the organs in your body. It's largely stored in your bones and skeletal you know, system. Uh, we have about three grams by weight of zinc in our body. Women have about 1.5 to two grams uh, of zinc, men have more. And uh, because it's in every part of our body just about, it's very important with a lot of the cellular functions, with our immune system, with having healthy intestines, actually that's where a lot of the absorption is happening in the intestines, uh, for healthy kidneys and all of these things. And, and even with our normal things like our sense of smell, it, zinc is very important and cellular division during pregnancy, which we'll go into a little bit more. So it's just very critical for many of the roles of functions in our body and plays a really big part in, uh, in our daily diet. So it's a micronutrient, nutrient, although we need it in small amounts and it's in a small amount in our body, it's very important. So it's very important that we absorb it as well when we get it in. So zinc, again, is one of the trace elements involved in metabolism. We talked about immune system and our immunity. We have our innate immune system, our first line of defense against you know, pathogens and things as our immune system. So it plays a very important role in that. Sometimes you see zinc combined with vitamin C and other um, nutrients for that reason to help us, especially in times of uh, environmental stress. Uh, our skin, hair, and nails. Uh, sometimes maybe if your hair is really brittle or you losing a little bit of hair, you know, even stress can cause that. We, we need zinc. Uh, when we are stressed, we release a lot of cortisol and it causes these things to happen, but zinc helps us with that. As well as our skin, we have a moisture barrier on our skin and zinc helps with that so that we don't have the dry skin, the rough skin. And nails, having good nail health, having where we don't have the white spotted nails. And uh, bones and teeth, it plays a very important part in that. And vision in our retina, in our retina health, our eye health, it helps with that sharpness, with that acuity of vision, and even our night vision. Um, zinc, because of the way that it helps cells divide, it plays a very important part in uh, fertility and reproduction. So we need zinc to have healthy pregnancies and even brain function to not have the brain fog to have more um, cognitive health and functioning and being more on top of that. Uh, helping with other things like how you synthesize or metabolize vitamin A and lipids, and carbohydrate in your metabolism overall. And in all of those things, uh, it helps against oxidative stress when we have those environmental stressors that we're exposed to. Uh, that's why, and sometimes again, you just see it in combination with things like vitamin C or vitamin D because it works uh, together well with those nutrients as well. Okay, um, let me just see here because uh, my PowerPoint's sticking a little bit. I'm on the right slide. Okay, so our bodies can't produce zinc. Uh, it's essential nutrient. We call it essential because we can't just produce it ourselves. We have to get it through diet or through supplement. And we get it through diet. We don't absorb enough of it in food, actually. We need 8 to 11 milligrams of zinc. Uh, teenagers need more. Pregnant women need more. Uh, men are on the higher end of that number as well. So uh, it's very important for all the processes and stages of growth that we are getting enough zinc in our diet. Um, and again, because our body can't produce it and uh, we can't get enough in the diet, we sometimes even lose zinc um, through poor absorption if we have any kind of special conditions or issues. So there's different things that cause us to not be able to, to keep enough zinc. And who has this issue with being able to have enough zinc? Well, about one third of the world's population, depending on what statistics you look at, World Health Organization, and I also saw a stat for one third of the world population has a problem with zinc deficiency. Uh, so you can see in the map here, in some areas of, of the world it might be high, other um, you know not as high, or maybe we don't have enough data. And there are about a, a billion people, I think I read 1.1 billion people overall that have a problem with zinc deficiency and about 15% lack adequate diet of having enough zinc in their diet in the US. 
So it's more, we don't you know, eat enough of it necessarily. And then there are other populations that are at risk like the elderly. And we'll go more into that as well. So we talked about, you know, one way to get it in is diet and food. And uh, what foods have zinc and do we absorb this? Well, you know, we absorb about 20% of the zinc in food, but we have certain chemicals called phytates and oxalates that, that prevent us from absorbing as much zinc as we should. It interferes with that. They work on the same pathway. Uh, so these are just some examples of foods that have 800 um, grams portions. And I will just tell you in US terms, that's 3.5 ounces. Oysters being the highest, and there's a lot of examples when you see articles about zinc where they talk about oysters, but we don't eat oysters every day. <laughs> so 20 milligrams is a good amount if we're gonna have ounces, but again, we don't eat it every day and we don't absorb all of the zinc in the food. So it meets protein, animal protein tend to have a bit more like your crab, beef, mutton, and you know, up to 10 grams in, in mutton, for example, chicken and less 0.8 milligram per three and a half ounces or 100 grams. Now, almonds and cashews and milk, things like that, and even beans, when you start getting into the phytate and oxalate foods, uh, containing foods that prevent some of the absorption um, of the zinc because of those uh, oxalates and phytates that are in those. So, so that, you know, you can get zinc in the diet, but may not still be getting enough zinc. Okay, so uh, different things affect zinc levels, uh, what we're able to absorb and... Um, you know, if we have issues with that, that's when supplements can come in handy. So uh, maybe if we're on a vegetarian diet, veganism, we say because you're getting mainly plant-based things like beans and certain um, other foods, seeds, and, and the nuts, so the almonds, those kind of things have, have phytates and oxalates. So we do know that that interferes with, again, with zinc absorption. Uh, aging, aging because you tend to not eat as much when you're older, you don't have a strong sense of smell when you're older, <laughs> actually, and taste, those things kind of kind of go a bit. So maybe you don't have as good a, a diet, a varied a diet, other things, uh, you're on different medications when you're older and certain medications might interfere with zinc absorption. So um, just might be in different reasons or chronic condition that someone might have. Um, high copper intake, uh, copper competes with the pathways that um, for absorption that zinc uses. So when you get too much copper, you're overwhelming that pathway and the zinc can't uh, be absorbed as well. So um, so you have to look at, at that because they have some of the same um, pathways and, and they bind to the same proteins as zinc. They work by binding to proteins. Uh, stress, we talked about cortisol, your body releasing cortisol when you have stress and uh, and the different hormonal effects like that will affect how much zinc you can absorb. Um, same with hormonal effects with birth control pills. It interferes with pathways or some of the processes in the body. You can't absorb as much zinc. Uh, illnesses and surgery. Zinc is one of the nutrients that helps when you're um, in a recovery period <laughs> um, because you want to build your immune system better and uh, you need nutrients like zinc to, to do that. So uh, you need more zinc than normal. So maybe you're not getting enough during those times. Um, if you drink a lot, again, uh, just drinking just depletes nutrients. It interferes with some absorption of others as well and also depletes. Diuretics, because you're losing a lot of fluid, it, diuretics are a medication where you lose a lot of fluid. Um, sometimes you need to be on that though for medical reasons. So, um, but you might need some zinc supplementation during that time. Uh, Growth spurts cause that hormonal flux, which leads to us needing more zinc in our diet as well, as well as in pregnancy and breastfeeding. So all during um, those types of periods, let's see if I'm leaving anything out. We talked about, um, yeah, and, and just, you know, certain diseases, or if you have an issue like diarrhea or something like that, anytime you have something going on in your body, it interferes with zinc absorption. You know, stress alters hormones. We, we just have all that going on um, to think about. So what happens when you don't have enough zinc? What, what can happen you know, physically? What kind of things happen? Well, we talked about how zinc helps that moisture barrier of your skin and have that smoothness and that, um, that nice moisture texture. So if it's dry, it become more irritated. Um, because zinc plays a part in the nat immunity, your first line of defense, when you have lower immunity, um, you don't have enough zinc, because zinc is very good in a recovery period to have. 
uh, you're just at high risk of uh, getting sick or, or maybe more sick. Um, leaf brittle hair, because leaf does play a part in the smoothness of the hair and the, the texture and all of those things. Um, the nail quality, they won't be as smooth, they'll be more brittle. You might see some white spots. Uh, not having enough leaf, you can have a loss of taste and smell sensation, even a funny taste, a different kind of taste. Um, and because zinc is stored, again, in retina, um, it helps the sharpness of vision, so you don't have enough that will affect that as well. Um, you can also feel a bit more lethargic, tired. Um, it, it can actually delay, uh, if you have a, a bad deficiency, uh, sexual maturity and things like that, because it plays a part in all those processes. We talked about vegetarianism and all those things. Okay. And just if you lose zinc through any kind of absorption issue as well. So understanding zinc absorption. Well, we know zinc is absorbed in the small intestine. That's the primary point of absorption. So we absorb about you know, 16 to 50% of zinc. Um, you know that phytates and oxalate lower that zinc absorption. They form insoluble complexes with it. Um, when we have the zinc methionine, sorry, zinc methionine, uh, it's chelated or bound to the amino acid methionine, right? Zinc and methionine. So that combination helps the bioavailability compared to other zinc. And it also doesn't have the issue that you have with other forms of zinc where you have the, where the phytates are an issue and, and the uh, oxalate. So good news for vegetarians. In this form, you don't have to worry about that. You'll still absorb it because of the way that it's absorbed. Um, so it, it has enhanced bioavailability. It has more amino acid and peptide complex. Peptides are chains of you know, amino acids. So it has more, more of those. Uh, so you can eat the cereal, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and, and those things and not worry as much uh, because you're still going to be able to absorb. Uh, so you'll be able to absorb more of the zinc that you're taking. Okay, so again, uh, the next generation product with enhanced bioavailability is a zinc uh, methionine. And uh, I'm going to tell you some other benefits too about that. Increases absorption, um, of course, because zinc is attached to it. Zinc piggybacks on the absorption process. So that's how that works. It bypasses some of the inhibitory effects of the phytates and dietary factors that prevent zinc absorption. We mentioned that. Better transport and utilization. Okay, once it's absorbed, the zinc methionine complex can be better utilized because methionine is not only essential amino acid in, in many bodily functions, but it serves as a transport molecule that helps the movement of zinc into the cells and tissues where it needs to go. So that's very important. And again, we talked about it bypasses those competing minerals. We talked about how copper, you know, has the same pathway of um, those for the same sites for absorption. Well, zinc doesn't have to compete with that now. The zinc methionine is absorbed more like an amino acid than a mineral ion. Uh, so it doesn't have to compete with copper and zinc for the same uh, pathway to get absorbed. So it bypasses that. So you have a better zinc absorption. And then um, it's generally better tolerated as far as gut comfort, not really having the effects you might, uh, like the nausea and other things, um, because it's absorbed better and used better in the body. So you don't have as many of those kind of uh, issues. Synergistic effects. Synergistic is how things work well together in the body. So methionine itself, um, you know, has, we talked about it, fights out, you know, for radicals, helps oxidative stress, helps fight that as well. Um, you know, more of an antioxidant-like effect and involvement in synthesizing other amino acids and biomolecules. So combining zinc with methionine has health benefits of you know the improved zinc status. It, it you know zinc uh, in this format will also help support the detoxification pathway of the body. That's so important. We saw how zinc is in so many areas of the body. Uh, we have about three grams in our body, and it's you know part of it. It's in all your organs, right? So when we talk about detoxification pathways like kidneys, um, and we talked about the diuretics is one of the things that, that deplete zinc. We think about that with the kidneys, but. Uh, Kidneys working well helps your detoxification pathway and we need enough zinc. Uh, so it helps with those defenses. So those are some of the great reasons why you want you know, zinc um, methionine in that format and why it's more available, 
you know, has more bioavailability to it than other forms of zinc do. So zinc, methionine, erythionine, uh, 25 milligrams in that dose. Uh, again, we never absorb 100% of a, a mineral, uh, so in good health, up to 50%. And in this case, it's probably more um, because we're able to absorb more because we don't have the same issues with the oxalates and the phytates and the competing for the pathways that other minerals, uh, all of that. Um, your zinc is instead being better absorbed and more bioavailability to you. So the combination of taking zinc, which is a micronutrient, a mineral that you need in small amounts in your body, and it's part of the organs and cells in your body, and then taking zinc with theanine amino acid, um, combining that together in a chelated form is why it works so well. So it's a smart combination for better absorption. Uh, well, we kind of went over this. <laughs> okay, it resists binding the zinc with, with phytates and oxalate, which will otherwise impede absorption. The organic chelate, it just when we say it demonstrates high solubility, what does that mean? It dissolves well in water, it dissolves well in fluid. And in your, the pH in your body can be acidic, which is the lower numbers, under seven and over seven, you know, alkaline, and you want it to be um, a balance, normal. So you have varying pH in your digestive system. You know, your stomach can tend to have an acidic, um, more acidic environment. So the organic chelate will demonstrate, it doesn't matter what the um, pH will vary to in your digestive system, it's still gonna be stable for you, be soluble and well absorbed. Uh, so methionine uh, <laughs> aids in effective absorption, transportation, and retention of the zinc in the body. Retaining the zinc is important too, um, because of how it's going to benefit you the most is to be able to absorb it and retain it. So those are some of the very important features of the zinc methionine. So in one dose tablet, um, in the zinc and the official, uh, I should say, the clinical name is zinc amino L methionine sulfate is a form. Uh, we have 50 milligram dose in Spain. We have 25 milligram dose in the US. So uh, whichever one you're on, uh, there doesn't matter, but they both have the same features as far as non-genetic modified organisms. We don't have any GMO. We don't have soy, we're gluten-free. Vegetarians can take it. And we know the vegetarians have such a challenge of getting in enough zinc and with the issues with phytates and oxalates. Uh, products made in Spain, uh, vegetable capsules, also great for vegetarians, and because of the absorbability, um, it benefits of having it in vegetable capsule form. So both the form of the supplement itself and how it's encapsulated, all of that's a benefit. So uh, just a quick recap on three key things to remember about zinc methionine in the 25 milligram dose is what we're talking about today. Uh, increased viability is due to the methionine amino acid and also the chelated form. Uh, it helps enhance immunity uh, more than other forms uh, do because it's, it has more bioavailability, more absorption to it. It supports healthy skin, hair, and nails and brain function, right? We've talked about how zinc is so important in that moisture barrier and keeping hair healthy and vibrant, keeping the nails from being brittle, um, helping with our cognitive, you know, thinking and functions in that way, and even uh, being a part of cell division and pregnancy and uh, part of our, uh, our stress hormones that might cause the issues with the hair and all that, it, it will help combat all of that um, when you take zinc, and such as zinc methionine form. So the code to get zinc methionine is uh, 2305. It's six bonus points. We're offered at the club price of $11, and the retail price is $13.75. So um, again, I'm Cheryl Reifer, Dr. Cheryl Reifer. I'm a registered dietitian, and I am the Director of Scientific Affairs with Coral Club North America. And we've been talking today about zinc methionine, 25 milligram dose, smart combo for better absorption. And we have references, of course, uh, that you can look at. And our information is from great sources like the National Institutes of Health, the World Health Organization. Um, so we use, you know, up to date, uh, peer reviewed scientific articles that are published in journals, um, as well as governmental data that's widely you know, accepted, like the National Institutes of Health and World Health Organization, and journals that are um, popular with the scientific and medical community. So, anyhow, uh, we really appreciate you joining us today. And thank you. Have a great rest of your day.